Here's another piece of syntax related to function definitions. In OCaml, you must explicitly state that a function is going to be recursive by adding the rec keyword in between let and the name of the function. This is a design choice in OCaml. Other functional languages have made different design choices. There are some arguments for doing it this way, but they're not terribly important. The most important thing is just to remember to put that rec keyword in. Suppose you wanted to write the factorial function. Let factorial of n be, well, what is it to take a factorial? If n is 0, 0 factorial is 1, so return 1. Else, well, if n is not 0, if it's bigger than 0, then what do we do? We take n times the factorial of n minus 1. OK. Of course, I should probably document a precondition that says uh, n requires n is greater than or equal to 0, because otherwise people might call this with a negative number, and that would be on me. OK, what is the little squiggly going on here? That's telling me unbound value fact. If this is a recursive definition, you should add the rec keyword on line two. Common mistake to make is to forget that rec keyword. You have to add it in there in order to make the function recursive. A couple other notes about the syntax here. I did need to write fact parentheses n minus one, because if I left out those parentheses implicitly, the way OCaml understands that is that they are around here which is not going to produce the result that I want. In fact, that will result in an infinite loop. You can see that if we put this code into UTOP. You can see we got a stack overflow there. Uh, what happened is that the function called itself so many times that the call stack got too big and OCaml stopped the computation. That looping recursion question mark is the hint to that there. So if we do want to get this right, we need to put the parentheses in the proper place to force OCaml to parse the argument as n minus 1, not just n. And with that change, our factorial function will work correctly. We can take the factorial of 10.